Hello Resident Evil fans, I'm here today to show you a look at my uh, Resident Evil Little Big Planet game that I made a couple of years ago. So I wanted this to be like a tribute to the original Resident Evil games, you know, the static cameras, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 mainly. As you can see that the camera is like the static camera, with the kind of got the gun from Resident Evil 4 with the laser. Got Claire Redfield here, got to press X to open the doors. There was a zombie point for us. Yeah, I remember that. So as you can see, it's kind of like like the mansion kind of thing from Resident Evil One, or, Res or the police station from Resident Evil Two. Got the uh, first aid spray there. So we go in here. Claire's back. Tells us about the health and the ammo in the game. Here is a reference to like the. The diaries and journals that you see throughout the original games with little easter eggs in them as well i've put so september 28 nine, 20, september 28th 1998 i can see them in the street zombies all over the place i'm holding strong in my store i sell weapons and ammo so i should be okay hope they can't break through the glass is obviously an easter egg reference to robert kendo from resident evil 2 and the, the reference to the way the zombies kind of just we're able just to walk straight through the glass in the uh, in the start of the Resident Evil 2 on PS1. Here is a reference to the kind of the camera angle from Resident Evil 2 when you first see the liquor in the window, then you go into the next corridor. It's kind of like outside camera perspective. Dying some zombies in here, get out of the way. Don't die. Is a puzzle, kind of referencing the original puzzles that you used to get. So I think it's that one. You light up the uh, faces. That one. And move on, move on, move on. Where's he gone? Hey, camera, change. Go back and go back again. Look at the camera, seems to be going a bit dodgy. There we go. It opens up the box in the room that we was in originally. Better. Claire's disappears. Back to again. Now there's a zombie in there. Oh, I've got no bullets as well. Oh no. I'm gonna die if we're not careful. Okay. Get out, get out, get out. First aid because it took quite a bit of damage. I think there's some bullets in here, yes. Fireplace. What's it say? An unlit flat an unlit fireplace that no reason the flame will show you the path to freedom. Now we'll kill it. We are, we're out of here. A box of matches, and mm, more on there for. Now I can pick these up with a zombie biting me. Obviously, if anyone wants to check this game out for themselves, it's still available on, on Little Big Planet. Just search Ryan 1987 Wars Resident Evil and it should come up. I've got a few other games on there as well. Like the fire, classic Resident Evil. There's been a couple of times you light a fire to achieve a goal. So she's getting the ruby gem thing from Resident Evil 2 when, the, when it falls out of the painting when you light it. Now we can go into the streets of Raccoon City. Come on, come on. Leon was here in 1998. That's a reference into the look of the city with the burning cars. It's got to load up the second sequence now. I think there's about three or four sequences all together, all linked together, because you can only make little big plant levels so big. There we go. There's another one of those diaries over here. The T virus has spread in from the mansion laboratory and infected Raccoon City. The stars members tried to warn us, but we didn't believe them. I was throwing a party tonight to welcome the new kid into the force. Looks like his party has been cancelled. Obviously there's a new kid being Leon S. Kennedy. I hope this is not Chris's blood. Another Easter egg. 
here comes the um, the uh, zombie dogs or the Cerberus burning city try to make it as I go with zombie dog try to make the city look as much like Raccoon City as I could with the, with the graphics that you can achieve on Little Big Planet the dead guy that the zombie dogs have killed into like a pub or bar whatever you want to call it now the electric motor is missing one of those windows okay raccoon rat is the name of the pub leon loves ada come on zombie dogs get out of here Pharmacy's on fire. Go away, dog, dog. Go away, go away. Here we go. Here we have a sandwich shop called Jill's Sandwiches. Obviously, a reference, a Easter egg reference to Resident Evil 1. The original Resident Evil almost a Jill sandwich. And there we have a Jill sandwich. Pick this ammo up. Another zombie. Oh, yeah. And there's the motor we were looking for. And then that zombie gets up off the floor. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Back to the pub. Ooh. Ah, didn't know you were there. Can't remember where my own zombies are in my own game. It's been that long since I played this. Oh, I know that one's there. Oh no, I've got no bullets on, that's not good. Carefully, so I can't shoot him. I don't want him to kill me. Oh no, that's not good. Get out of here, get out of here. Let's get that first aid and go round. Oh no, get out. This is interesting. I can't shoot the zombie. Got a key. Go on, go, 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 go. I say this is actually harder than you think it is. And go through here. Unlock the door with a key into the next section. Let's load up the next bit now. The message comes up. Got another one of those journals. I've been bitten by one of those creatures. I won't have long until I become one of them. I've decided to sort off my own leg in hope of it stopping the virus spreading within my body. Not referencing anything specific, just Trying to like build upon the story of the atmosphere they live in. Some bullets there, do I need them still? Or oh, does my gun reload automatically? I can't remember. Got a clock and a is that have a message on it? I will reveal a secret when the clock reads five five thirty. Oh wonder what the secret is. Oh the police cars crashed into the wall. Oh, this thing's overflowing, on fire. Looks like this restaurant's run by the Umbrella Corporation. Can turn that computer on. That turns the lights off. Oh, activated the, um, the clock. Oh, zombie, zombie, go on, go for the door. Zombie dog, zombie dog, zombie dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do with that first aid. Okay. Oh, no bullets there. I thought I left them. Into a graveyard. To the church. Another diary here. My mummy and daddy told me to go to the Raccoon City Police Building because it's too dangerous to stay at home. But I keep hearing some scary monster. Wish daddy was with me. He would protect me from it. So we see an Easter egg reference to Sherry Birkin. Obviously, her dad is the monster, Dr. William Birkin. Turn this on. It turns on that projector in the middle of the church. Oh, 5.30. Maybe the secret will be revealed. Ah. The elevator. I wonder where the elevator leads. And we have a projection of a liquor. Which is quite 
interesting why would they be watching a liquor image in the church so is the church run by the secret meetings of the umbrella corporation maybe who knows I just thought it was clever it was very kind of like the style of the old way that secret stuff was happening without people realising it such as the lab under the city and secret occult stuff maybe so this is the last section now loading up what messages that keeps coming on down into the oh that guy looks like he's seen better days to this elevator shaft thing the door is locked because the power is off turn it on thank you unlocks the door Here comes old Claire Bedfield again, a bit like Ada Wong coming and going all the time. Ada Wong, even. Hey, you made it through the city. This should take us down to the Umbrella Laboratory. Oh, that liquor doesn't look too friendly. It's going to attack us now by sticking its claw through the ceiling. Like a reference to Resident Evil 2 with the G-Mutant boss sticking its cloth with a cable car or monorail, whatever it was. Maybe also it could be a reference to the first movie. Oh, I've got no bullets, Claire, help me. I need some bullets. Thank you. The first movie when the uh, liquor's the boss and it sticks its, uh, sticks its cloth with the, um, with the train. Oh, he's scared now, he's upset. Don't be upset, no smile. Oh dear, a bit scared are you now? And down we go, it's kind of referencing the, the fight with William Burke in the first fight in Resident Evil 2 on the yellow elevator platform thing. Then you finally get down to the city, er, uh, down to the, down to the um, Umbrella Corporation laboratory. Welcome to Umbrella Corp. Eerie place. Oh, go out of my way. Looks like a generator for the train. The fuse, power fuse is missing. Picked up the gold object. Yeah, I tried to do the gameplay as much like. The original games as I could, so we're like picking up random objects to unlock the doors and turn the power on and all that kind of stuff. So we put that in there, opens the door in one of the rooms. Don't got no bullets again, pick those up. I'll pick them up today. Ah, get out of here, get out of here. Eye sticking out. We have the tyrant from Resident Evil One. It's not a bot. It's not a boss in this game. It's just, just a model. I just wanted it to like reference the different creatures that Umbrella make. Got a message here from Dr. William Birkin. Research final. My experiments with the T virus have been a success. Albert should be pleased with our latest creation. It has a weaponized tongue able to stab like a spear. We call it the Liquor. Here we have um, a couple of other... Oh, I didn't even see that zombie. Here we have the zombie crow in the tank, in the in the creature tank thing there. I was going to put the zombie crows in the in the game, but for some reason I couldn't get them to work, the puppets to work, like the zombies, like the zombies and the dogs. So I just said so you totally abandoned it. I just stuck it in there, so it's not totally gone. And then we have a like a reference to the giant insects, such as the giant spiders and the giant, well, there's been the giant moth in Resident Evil 2. And here we have the world's largest key card. That computer doesn't do anything, it's just for show. Some kind of experiment thing going on in here. So let's get out of here. Got the key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. 
Whoa. Open this door. Go through into a kind of free storage room thing. Oh, another zombie. A desire and a stalk. That's the generator thing we need for the power fuse for the, the train. That's a, some kind of a reference to the obviously experiments, but maybe a reference to the giant crocodile experiment or the, the hunters. They're quite alligator like. Another zombie woken up. Go away. I'm going to get through this. Here we go. Any health? Maybe. Now put the Gen 3 fuse in, open the train. Is it all over? I think something is wrong at the back of the train. Better check it out. Ooh, what is this going to be? Set some bullets just in case. go that's not actually the train moving it's the the wall duplicating itself and then moving really quick to give the illusion that the train's speeding but the train is actually static it's not going anywhere it's our old friend the liquor again I remember Claire being this scared in the old games. Oh, the liquor's dead now. This is the scared, most scared she's ever been, bless her. And that's that. We escaped. Yeah, so if you if you want to play this uh, if you want to play this game yourself, or any other games I've got on my Little Big Planet account, my um. My name is Ryan nineteen eighty seven Ward, and if you want to check out my obviously my YouTube channel, uh, I've got other videos on there as well, other videos of other um, Little Big Planet games and Dreams games. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.